Hey guys, I am Daishou. I am posting a video on Skeptic's channel, and I want to really thank him for letting me do this. It is pretty awesome that you're letting me do this. Anyway, I'm going to jump right into my commentary because I hate it when people give these five minute introductions to who they are and everything that they've done in their entire life. So what I'm going to do this game is I'm going to give you just one episode of this series that I started called True or False. And in this series, I basically tell you an amazing story and it might not necessarily be true. I figured, well, my life isn't the most interesting story, so why not just make them up? But all of these stories are actually going to be somewhat true. Some things in them actually happened, and then maybe the rest didn't. And it's your job to leave a comment to say, where did Daisho start lying? So this is the second episode of this series. I put the other one on my channel. And my original plan was that I'm going to, in the next video, tell you exactly which parts of the story were true but I'm not gonna do that because none of you have seen that video so in the link video to this video I'm gonna put that so anyway now I'm just gonna jump right right into this so the first story that I'm gonna tell you has to do with a hotel room and basically uh, me and my family went on vacation not really vacation we went to go see my sister's graduation but it wasn't in the same city as us so we had to rent a hotel and one day we were all just chilling in the, the living room area um, and this person just opens the door and walks in. Like, our door's locked and everything, but the hotel room person must have figured that they lost their key or something because they just walk in. And, like, we're just looking at them like, what are you doing here? Nobody says anything because we're just utterly confused. And then the person just walks straight into our room, goes into the bathroom, and they take a shower. Like, what? They come out like 25 minutes later and then we're all just like, what are you doing here? And she finally realizes that she's in the wrong room and kind of awkwardly walks out. But that definitely definitely wasn't a normal happening, not, not something that normally happens in a hotel room, right? I don't know. Do people just randomly walk into your rooms? I don't know. I, I found that story to be really weird. But anyway, next one is me just uh, on in school and I go to college by the way so basically everybody's around my age or a few years older or everybody except for the professors I guess and the administrators but most people around my age on the entire campus so I'm just walking back from class it's about 6 p.m. I'd say and I walk by the, like this u like the main student building or whatever where they have like different things going on but whatever so then I see right in front of the door there's this like minivan and it has balloons in it like there's literally about 50 balloons inside the minivan and not only that there's somebody standing outside the van and then there's somebody sitting inside it a girl is just sitting inside the van and talking to her friend who is also standing right outside it so yeah it's it's definitely a little weird but not completely unheard of I, I don't think I mean yeah okay maybe you're delivering balloons to someone so that makes sense. The only problem is where would you bring them? I don't I don't know the entire reasoning behind behind this whole the whole story, but anyway, so as I'm walking by, this girl is like I'm just like look staring at them like what are you doing? And then this girl's looking back at me. So then I just walk over to her and I'm like um what's going on here? Like cuz I was just kind of curious. And she said, what do you mean? We're just delivering balloons to our friend. And I'm like, yeah, but why is she sitting in the car? And then this girl literally just gets out of the car and slaps me in the face. And then I'm just like, what? And yep, that's about it. I just kind of walked away after that. I, I didn't know what to say. I mean, they weren't going to tell me what they were doing with the balloons. So kind of figured that that was pretty much the end of the, the, end of the line for me. Um, and now the last story comes from when my when I got my grades. So basically the way it works at my school is they put this this grading system on the website or on the on the internet basically and you kind of have to go on the internet and look for whatever scores you got and then that's how you know whether you got an A or a B or a C in the class. So this class is out of 1000 points and uh, and there's basically a bunch of different things that go into it, like your grades for this, your grade for your grade for this project, your grade for the second test, and then one of the things is participation. And usually, participation in these classes is kind of like a freebie. 
where basically as long as you go to class and whatever, then they'll give you full points. And um, I'm a pretty good student, especially when it comes to attendance-based classes. I go to all my class, and this teacher gave me a 35 out of 50 for participation. So at first, I wasn't really going to complain because, I mean, it, it, they give you, it's, it's 35 out of 50, and the whole class is out of 1,000, plus I'm, I was pretty sure I was going to get an A in the class anyway, so it didn't really matter. But I went to every single class except for about two, and um, he and those were both excused absences, so I shouldn't have lost points for not going to class. Plus, I talked almost more than anyone in the class, so I was just really confused as to why I got this this grade. So I was I was actually a little angry about it because I put in so much time for this class, and my teacher rewards me by giving me a 35 out of 50. I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous. So then I write him. I first, first, at first, I was just gonna ignore it because I'm just like, whatever. It happened. It sucks, but I'm still gonna get an A. But then I, I like, I realized, you know what? That's not right. I'm not gonna stand for this. So then I basically wrote the teacher a pretty angry email. One might say, I'm not gonna read it to you guys, but it was something al along the lines of. Dude, this because I mean he wasn't he wasn't a professor he was he was kind of like a graduate student so I said this really isn't fair I spent so much time in this class and it's just so stupid and ridiculous that you're giving me this terrible grade and then after I write this whole angry email letter thing he just goes on and writes oh sorry that was a mistake and gives me a 50 out of 50 so I go and yell at my professor who's just this nice graduate student who's teaching this random class and. He actually just made a mistake on editing it. Um, he also actually thanked me for put bringing it to his attention so quickly because I emailed him the same night. So how much self-restraint does that take when some student sends you a really angry, mean email and then all of a sudden you just go ahead and respond? Oh, by the way, that was that was a mistake. I, I apologize and thank you. I mean. That's pretty impressive. I gotta give him props for that. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed these three stories. Those were the three stories that I'm going to tell you. And that you've been enjoying this gameplay. I know it started out a little slow. I tried to fast forward it to make that a bit more interesting for you guys. And usually I incorporate a bunch of theater mode into it. But there weren't that many situations where I could. And um, I'm not sure if you can see that. It was a pretty short thing. I was just basically showing you the kill cam. Which is taken out in theater mode but anyway um i mean i'm, I'm just playing some team deathmatch on cracked and um oh yeah basically i wanted to say is you guys should leave comments i mean i i would be really happy if you left comments and and said yo daisho i think you started becoming a complete liar at this point you're full you're so full of shit i want you to die and you know stuff like that kind pleasant remarks and stuff or really angry stuff i don't really care but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video my final score is 24 and 4 and uh that's about it so have a nice day bye